let's start by doing an overview of Microsoft Defender XDR and its services. Let's start with the introduction by Microsoft. Microsoft Defender XDR is a unified pre- and post-breach enterprise defense suite that natively coordinates detection, prevention, investigation, and response across endpoints, identities, email, and applications in order to provide an integrated protection against sophisticated attacks. I also wanted to share that until November 2023, Microsoft Defender XDR was actually known as Microsoft 365 Defender, and you might still find many online sources that still mention the old name. Microsoft Defender XDR has six main services. Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, Microsoft Defender for Office 365, Microsoft Defender for Identity, Microsoft Defender Vulnerability Management, Microsoft Defender Threat Intelligence, and Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps. All those six services work together to provide you a complete protection of your Microsoft Cloud services. One of the big advantages of Microsoft Defender XDR is that it's an integrated cross-domain solution that is able to stitch together signals from endpoints, identities, data, applications, and then groups all of those signals together in incidents. By doing this, security teams can see the attack as a whole and focus on remediating the full picture rather than only looking at a piece of the puzzle at a time. When looking at an incident, which we can see an example in this screenshot, in the scope we have two impacted devices as well as three impacted users. So it's not only one team focusing on devices, one team focusing on users and trying to work together, the incident shows everything at once and the attack story and grouping in this case. You see we have 611 alerts together in a single related incident. So it really empowers security teams to view the full attack and shut it down completely rather than seeing it in silos and attacking each domain individually. Now that we know the basics of Defender XDR, let's learn about the Microsoft Defender Portal. The Microsoft Defender Portal is the central location for security teams to manage security services across your Microsoft environment. It allows you to monitor identities, data, devices, apps, and infrastructure in a single location, and it can be accessed at security.microsoft.com. However, only certain administrative roles have access to it, so you need to have one of the following Entra ID roles to be able to see it. Of course, the global administrator or the security admin or the security operator role, or you can have read-only access with the security reader role. On the Microsoft Defender Portal Home, you have the navigation on the left side, which allows you to navigate to all of the different tools available, such as incidents and alerts, reports, endpoints, cloud apps, and more. In the middle, or most of the page, you have a card-based layout with a quick view at the controls and alerts that you care about most. I say the ones you care about most because both the navigation on the left and the cards in the middle of the Microsoft Defender Portal are customizable, allowing you to focus on the things that matter most to you. This is individual per admin, so each admin can personalize their view based on what makes them more productive. One of the cards you might have spotted earlier is the Secure Score, so let's talk about it. The goal of the Microsoft Secure Score is to provide you a quick way to understand your security posture. One of the nicest features, in my opinion, is that it also helps prioritize actions based on the potential to reduce risk by using gamification in a way, as the bigger the security impact, the more points it gives you towards your secure score. By doing the high point, high reward action items first, you're also taking the biggest step, so it's a win for everyone. And also, in my opinion, a nice way to present your security progress to management and non-technical executives. This is an example of a recommendation you can get in the Microsoft Secure Score. 
In this case, ensure that multi-factor authentication is enabled for all users in administrative roles. And as you can see right now, we have 76 out of 99 users with admin permissions that are not registered and protected with multi-factor authentication. So this is something that we should work on in order to increase our score. Microsoft Secure Score includes recommendations from many different products, both Microsoft products such as Entro ID, Defender XDR, SharePoint Online, Teams, Exchange Online, as well as third-party products such as Zoom, Salesforce, DocuSign, and more. Remember that Microsoft keeps adding integrations to the Secure Score and the products that it supports. So make sure to always check the latest available products at the link in the slides. And remember, you can download the slides from the Exercise Files tab of this course to easily copy-paste the link. Now that we have seen the theory, Let's head over to the lab and check out the Microsoft Defender portal, as well as explore our Microsoft Secure Score. Back in the lab environment, let me open up the browser here, where I already navigated to security.microsoft.com, which brings us to the Microsoft Defender portal. On the left side here, we have our navigation and on the middle, we have a card-based layout of all the things that are important to us, depending, of course, on how many of the different Defender products that we have configured. Remember, all of it is customizable. So I can go into Add Cards, for example, and see all of the different cards that are not yet on my Defender Portal homepage. Same thing for the navigation. If I go to the bottom here, I can customize the navigation, and then maybe I can hide different tools that maybe we're not licensed for, or depending on my role in the security team, I might not be using all the different options in there so I can hide them in order to make me more productive. The Defender Portal is really your home for all Microsoft Defender XDR security settings, which are the security settings of your Microsoft 365 tenant. One of the cards we have here on the right is the Microsoft Secure Score. You can see right now I'm at 56.35%, which is not passing score yet, but I can see as well at the bottom how many points do I have for identity, for data, for devices, and for apps. What do we want to do, of course? We want to improve our score. So let's click on that button which will bring me to the recommended actions. Here I will see a list of all the different recommended actions I need to do to improve my score. And as you can see, they are ordered by score impact. So right now I can improve my score by 0.62% if I turn on firewall on Mac OS. Let's go to number four here. For example, block Adobe Reader from creating child processes. I can see right now because I have Defender for Endpoint under implementation status, 53 out of 53 devices that I'm managing are exposed. So I need to fix it on 53 devices. So it really has that integration where it will tell you how many devices you need to manage this on. And of course, the score can go up and down as if you add a new device that's not secure, your score will go lower. So it's not something that you do once and that's it. You'd never have to deal with again. Talking about losing points, you can see back on the overview tab here at the top, I can see some of the recommended actions that we actually regressed on. So things that I lost points in the past 90 days because maybe I have new resources, that I have not properly secured. So it's not only a score that goes up, it's something that, like our security, we need to continuously assess and invest time in. So this is the Microsoft Secure Score. Before we're done with this demo, I also want to show you a Microsoft Defender incident. On the incidents page in the Microsoft Defender portal, I can see all the different incidents that Defender or Sentinel has created. Let me scroll down a bit. There is one particular one I want to show you here. 
This one over here, I have my multi-stage incident evolving initial access and let's give it a few seconds here to load because it contains quite a few alerts here. So you can see we have a multi-stage incident involving initial access and credential access with multiple users reported by multiple sources. We can see right now this one includes over 1700 alerts and we can see each one of the alerts here we have a nice incident graph that we can see the connection between everything. And if I go to the summary, I can see that right now I have four impacted users. So I can see all the users here that are impacted as well as the one impacted mailbox. So it really discovered the attack as a whole. And part of the same attack, I have four users that are impacted. So as a security operator, I'm able to look at the attack as a whole rather than looking at each one of those users separately. So I know that I can close it down for good. But this is an example of an incident in Microsoft Defender. Of course, I can have devices in there as well and more. But this is it for this demo of the Defender Portal, your single place to go for all your security settings and to manage Microsoft Defender XDR as well as the Microsoft Secure Score. An easy way to see your security posture and to have a prioritized list of actions to make your enterprise more secure. This is it for this demo. Let's head back to the slides to finish off this module.